spiders are. Yeah, they even make their own thread. <laughs> it's great to be like a spider. That's because spiders are superstars. <laughs> exactly. All you have to do is take one good look to know spiders are little superstars. And now let's call another little superstar buddy of ours. Zabu! Zabumafo! The lemur has landed. Zabu's here. Whoa, wait up! Zabu? What? Did you know a superstar lemur jumper can jump 30 feet from tree to tree? I have a feeling today is gonna be pretty crazy. So let's give Zabu garbanzo beans! Hey, Zabu. Garbanzo beans. Yeah. Here you go. Okay, you want you can't have them all. Here, wait, just take one. Just take one. There you go. <laughs> one garbanzo bean's a mouthful for a lemur. Excuse <laughs> me. Simple <laughs> Whoa! Hey, brothers, look! I can't believe my mind! Another one! Oh hi there! They're everywhere! Everywhere! Zabumafu, they're everywhere. Who's Zabu? Little animals, and they're all different, and they're crawling all over. Who could it be? Who could it be? What? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? One was a furry crawler, but then there was another. One with a hard shell and big googly eyes. They were popping up everywhere. All sorts of little superstar creatures. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Little superstar creatures. Do you know who they are? And one went this way, and that way, and this way, and that way, and this way, and that way, and this way. <laughs> oh, hey, one's going this way, not that way. Oh. So they scattered in all different directions, right? That makes me think that Zabu must be talking about bugs. Manga Chica, Mr. Animal's here. Bugs always scatter. So if you want to find bugs, you have to scatter. Oh. Let's go. All right, now where could they be hiding? Over here! See this stick here? Well, fooled you, because it's not a stick. Bug me. She's an insect called a walking stick, and because she looks like a stick, she can really hide. A scorpion! Watch out for this guy, because he has claws that can really pinch and a tail that stings. Bug me! And scorpions like to hide out in dark, cozy places. You never know where you're going to find bugs. Bug me! Wow! How do you put your best foot forward if you're a millipede? A millipede can have over 400 legs, and when she walks, it's like a wave of legs. <laughs> Bug me! One of my favorites, a praying mantis. 
Look how she cleans her arm with those finger-like mouth parts. Bugly, I love bugs. Wow. Hey, who's this guy? That's a caterpillar, and they come in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. Look at her. Well, I'll call you Lollipop Head. <laughs> he has green fur just like Green Puppy. I'll call you Little Green Puppy. Whoa, whoa, whoops. Careful. Oh, and look at him. <laughs> You're Waggletail. They're all so different, and I love them all. <laughs> so, who else is here? <gasps> who are they? They're dung beetles, Zabu. Dung beetles are always rolling poop balls around. That's because poop is their food and they lay eggs in it. Bugs are everywhere, everywhere. Chris, watch out. Good eye, Zob. You have to keep a sharp lookout when you're looking for bugs. A Congo chafer beetle. Bugs don't like to be stepped on. And I don't like stepping on bugs. And bugs are everywhere. Yeah, there's another Congo Chafamango. Yeah, what do you call him again? He's a Congo Chafer Beetle. But you know what's up? What? There are so many kinds of beetles in the world, like this pleasing fungus beetle. Oh, wow. She looks like Congo, but not. Hey, and check out the ironclad. He's a... Don't tell me. A beetle, right? You got it, Zob. Well, there's another beetle. Yeah, a South African weevil beetle. And another one. A saddleback desert dart. And another one. A South African breath beetle. I can't believe my mind. He changed his mind. He's going back the other way. Oh, bug me. This is too fast. Who bug is who bug? Which bug are you bug? Oh. But you know one thing all beetles have in common? They like noses? <laughs> yeah, but check it out. All beetles have a hard shell to protect their soft insides. <laughs> What kind of beetle is that? Oh, it's a Martin beetle. <laughs> the amazing thing about beetles and a lot of other bugs is that even with all this armor, they can fly. And this is how beetles do it. When a beetle wants to fly, she moves her hard wing cases out of the way. Her wings pop out and she buzzes away. Did you know that ladybugs are beetles too? Oh, well, let's see how she flies. Yep, she's a beetle. Let's see how Martin flies. <laughs> needs more beetle practice. Uh-oh. Martin, watch out for that amount of dirt behind you! Oh, brother. What about these superstars in the pile of dirt? Are they beetles too? No, they're termites. Termites don't have hard shells like beetles to protect their soft bodies. So they build really hard mounds to live in. That's how they protect themselves. No doubt about it. Insects are little superstars. And they have to be, because a lot of creatures are out to get them. Like a capuchin monkey, who's great at finding where the bugs are hiding. He eats them? Who else eats bugs? Well, there's a lizard called a thorny devil who loves to chow down on ants. One. Two, he loves to eat bugs. Yeah, so does a sun spider. Whew. With so many creatures out to get you, sometimes even a hard shell isn't enough to protect a bug. Bug me! Another beetle! Silver, shiny, hard shell? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a beetle, Zob. That's a harmonica. Harmonica? What does it do? Blow on it, and you'll find out. Hmm. It doesn't do anything, Martin. I know. That means you have to take a big breath, huh? put your lips on it, and blow. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> Harmonica! I like that noise. Green is a yummy color, but I don't eat bugs. 
She's a Florida lover grasshopper. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> a grasshopper's legs are always in position for a great big hop, ready to take off at a moment's notice. Like me. Yeah. Bug me, bug me. She can just jump away, jump away, jump away. <laughs> But sometimes, even being a great jumper can't save a bug. If you're not paying attention, a creature like a slender lores can sneak up from behind and catch you. It's a tough world for bugs. That's why grasshoppers are such quick jumpers, because so many creatures are out to jump on them. Now let's find some more bugs. Hmm, I have a feeling there's a bug around here someplace. Bug me, did you see that? Hey, Martin, that's an incredible insect. Where? Right there on your... Whoa, where in the world did this come from? Well, you know what you have to do when you're checking out bugs. Look closer. It's the termites. What superstar builders? These little termites built this huge mound. Remember when I first tripped over that little hill? Ah! the beginning. Right, Martin, because millions of termites grab mouthfuls of dirt, wet it with their spit. Their spit? Spit! And their spit glues the dirt together to make the mound. This is a huge termite mound, and it's as hard as a rock. Right, up? I like it up here. I can see everywhere. A lot of animals like termites and termite mounds, because so many creatures depend on these little creatures for survival. Termites are one of the most important insects in the world. Tons of creatures eat them. Like an armadillo. He sniffs around for termites and ants all day. How about an aardvark, who always enjoys a tasty meal of termites? And don't forget about a nuthatch. He's nuts for bugs. Whoa. <laughs> all these bugs remind me of one time in, uh, oh yeah, in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I heard someone say, Zippity doo, ha do, Zabu. It sounded like my friend Bugly, but I couldn't see him anywhere. So I called out, Hey, Bugly, where are you? Uh, right here. <laughs> oh, hi, Bugly. Well, then I heard a loud noise in the ground shook. Zabumafuasaurus was coming. So I jumped into the tree to get out of the way. But Bugly stayed on the ground, and Zabumafuasaurus didn't see him. Well, help me! Help oh, me! Stop, I said. Zabumafuasaurus, look down at your foot. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Bugly. Uh, I didn't see you there. Huh. Well, that's all right. Uh, Thanks for saving me, Zabu. Yeah. Hey, you want to buzz around with me? I'll take you for a ride. Well, Bugly, I'm too big to ride on you. Besides, bugs like you have it tough enough already. But don't forget, Zab, I'm a superstar. Well, I can understand that. Bug me, I shouted. Let's go. Just hang on tight and buzz. So I did. Buzz. <laughs> so we went buzzing around Zabumufuasaurus and had fun. The end. <laughs> Great story, Zabu. But you know, there's one more thing I gotta know. Who is the bug on Martin's back? I have no idea. Do you? Bug me, let me see. She's gone. There was a bug on my back? Uh -huh. One of the amazing things about bugs is they're really good at staying hidden and out of the way. And bugs have to stay hidden because there are a lot of other creatures looking for them. And you know what other creatures like to do with bugs. Eat them. But I just want to look at the bug that was on Martin's back. <laughs> so do I. I didn't even know there was a bug on my back. Well, let's get looking. And we'll need your help. You ready to help? Great. Tell us if you see her. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't see anything here. Whoops, not here. Quick, over here! So is this who was on my back? Yeah, yeah, bug me. <laughs> Great job, you found her. Bug me! <laughs> what do you mean, bug me? I mean, bug me. Tell me who this great bug is. This is a Malaysian wood nymph, one of the largest bugs in the world. A wood nymph? She looks like a leaf that's alive. Exactly, Zob. That's the way she stays hidden from all those creatures who are trying to eat her by acting like a leaf. And if that doesn't work, these sharp, pointy spines all over her body would make any creature think twice about eating her. Whoa, bug me. Spines for protection. 
Well, get this, Sob. Some caterpillars have spikes with poisonous tips to protect them. But others aren't that lucky. That's right. Remember when we saw that woolly bear caterpillar? We thought he was climbing in a bush, but when we looked closer, we saw two insects attached to him. Why? Well, we took a closer look and saw that the insects were sucking the caterpillar's insides out. Believe me, it's a tough world for bugs. Bug me! Hey, Martin! Chris! I'm feeling buggish! <laughs> I feel different, not the same! This kind of feeling I can't explain! There's only one thing that I can do! I feel buggish! How about you? Buggish! I feel buggish! Buggish! I'm a busting little insect flying all around! How about you, Buggish? Buggish! Sabu, you are really bugging out! All right, but I wonder, what does it feel like to be a bug? Hold that thought, Chris. Duck! It's not a duck, it's a... Wait a minute. <laughs> it is a duck. Wow. Do they eat bugs? Nope, just water plants. I wonder what Jackie's up to. I love ants, but yesterday I saw a bunch of kids stomping on an anthill. I ran over to them. Hold it! Come here and look. I told them how great ants were. They are incredibly strong for one thing. If I was as strong as an ant, I think I could lift a car. I showed them the little hole where ants go in. But underground, it's like a huge neighborhood. Ants make lots of tunnels and rooms to live in. Ants are so great. Hi, little guy. It's a good thing Jackie's out there to give ants a break. Yeah, we need bugs. Bugs are good. <laughs> you got it, Zob. If bugs disappeared, so many other creatures would disappear too. So not only are bugs incredible because they're Incredible, but also because the entire planet depends on them. <laughs> the whole planet depends on buggy superstars. I like it. That's why we always say, be, be nice, nice to bugs. bugs. Hey, our antennae feel trip vibrations. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> We'll show you what we mean. Let's go out into the creature world and see how important bugs are. And we'll see it like bugs see it. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. We'll see you later. Whoa, bug me. Look at this spider web. It's amazing how spiders can make webs. I wonder what it'd be like to sit in a spider web all day. Let's, Let's get, get bug size. This is incredible. It's like being stuck on giant monkey bars. Yeah, everything looks so huge. Especially that spider. Hey, and look at that butterfly. She's the size of an airplane. And how about that mosquito caught in the spider's web? I think that mosquito is the spider's dinner. Move over, little Chris. I don't want to end up like that. Forget about the spider, Martin. Somebody else is looking at us, and he looks hungry for bugs. A sparrow. You're right, he's eyeing us. Maybe we'd better get out of here before that bird makes us his dinner. Let's get big size! It was great being a spider until that bird came along. Yeah, but there wouldn't be many birds if there weren't any bugs, because a lot of birds eat bugs. Chris, look out! Leaf cutter ants. What amazing insects. These little bugs are superstar workers. They carry leaves back to their homes so they can make food. Whoa. Let's, Let's get, get bug size. Boy, these ants sure look busy. Yeah. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's help these ants collect some leaves. Great idea. Leaf cutter ants cut out sections of leaves and then carry them down trees on their backs. An ant can carry ten times his own weight. It's great being an ant. Sure is. 
Hey, and look! We're almost at the end hill! Hey, the end of the line! We made it! Yeah. Here you go, guys! Whew. Who's that over there? He has long, sharp claws. A long, pointy nose that keeps sniffing around. And look at that long tongue! Martin, sounds like you just described a tamandua. He eats termites and ants and... <gasps> Uh-oh! Uh you might think we're ants. We better get out of here. It's time to get pizzas! Ants are incredible little superstars. And if there weren't any ants and termites, there wouldn't be any tamanduas. <gasps> Grasshoppers everywhere! Let's get bug size. Hey, buddy. Grasshoppers are amazing. A grasshopper has six legs. Her hind legs are used for jumping. And boy, can she jump. She can jump 20 times her own body length. That would be like me jumping halfway across a football field. Yeah! Plus, she has two antennae that she uses to smell with. And, just like crickets, she rubs her wings and hind legs together to make sounds. She even has claws to help her climb. Yeah, that's the way. Baby, is that Jackie? Jackie! Jackie! I love hiking through the woods. You've seen some amazing creatures. I don't think she sees us. We're so small, remember? She might not see us at all. She's heading right this way. Right for us! What if she doesn't see us? What if she steps on us? No! Look out! Look out! Grasshoppers. I almost stepped on them. It's a good thing I watch where I'm going, so I never step on these little creatures. Whew! It's a good thing that Jackie looks out for the little creatures. Now we know what it feels like to be a bug. It's a totally different world. Hey, I bet when you're this small, Zabu looks totally different. Let's go. Grasshopper style! Woo! Yeah! We're back! Bug me! I'm big size, and you're a bug size. <laughs> hey, guys, hurry up. Gotta see these bugs. Let's get big size! Come on, hurry! <laughs> They're licking me. Yeah, butterfly tongues. There's nothing more amazing than butterflies and their butterfly tongues. That's because their tongues roll right out, kind of like those things you blow at birthday parties. You know, the noisemakers. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that tickles. They're licking me because they like me. <laughs> yeah, and they're also licking up the salt and minerals off of your skin. Remember in the Amazon when we saw hundreds of butterflies on the mud bank of a river? They were licking up the salt and minerals from the mud. But that's not the only place the butterflies were licking up salt. They were licking the salt off a turtle's eyeballs. They just kept licking her eyeballs and licking her eyeballs and licking her eyeballs. Until the turtle got so tired of being bugged by the butterflies, she jumped in the river to get away. It's okay. You can lick my eyeball. Your tongue tickles. <laughs> Chris, who depends on butterflies? Well, bullfrogs, for one. A monarch butterfly can be just sitting on a twig, unaware of the frog below. Then bang, the next minute, she's eaten by the frog. That's why butterflies fly crooked, so they won't always get caught. Bug me. I'm always going to watch where I leap from now on. I don't want to bump into any butterflies. I want to tell everybody about buggy superstars, too. Hey, just like I told everybody about Bugly in Sabu Land. I was leap leaping along, leap. Leap, 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 leap. Hey there. When I heard a voice, I sat down to see if I would hear it again. Zaboobity Dee, bug me. Who said that? Me, my name's Bugly. Wow, you're super cool. And I'm a superstar. Come on, let's run. Wah -ha, hop on. Wow, wow. <laughs> look how fast <laughs> Bugly runs. <laughs> Oh, Bugly, Bugly, he's super fast, and uh, he has a super name. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Hang on, little lemur. <laughs> yeah. Then everybody started <laughs> noticing that Bugly was a superstar. Bugly, Bugly's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's cool. I like everything cool. <laughs> I'm bugging. Oh, no. Bugly, Bugly. And then Bugly, woo! started flying. Ah, oh, he's a superstar. <laughs> Noggin Drill was right. Bugly was a superstar. And for the rest of the day, everyone in Zabuland celebrated Bugly's superstardom. Thanks a lot. <laughs>
The end. Oh, Bugly's one of my best buddies. <laughs> Bug me! This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we've met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! I'm bugging out. See ya. We're bugging out too, because even though we met a lot of bugs today, there are millions and millions more! Most of the creatures in the world are bugs. So if we start now and saw a bug a minute, we still wouldn't see them all. Bye! Hi, my name is Melissa. This is Kelly.